The following is a tag team steel cage match. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Well, here come the men near the head of the table. Jimmy and Jay down since day one, but now they are the ones. Their tag team championship accolades are beyond Hall of Fame worthy. They might be the greatest tag team of all time. Time to party with the Prophets. And at a combined weight, of 492 pounds, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not. You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The Usos, Jimmy and Jay. going here. They've certainly made their mark on the WWE Tag Team Division. It's no surprise, Cole. Their family legacy is deeply rooted in tag team action. The Usos proudly command the same respect that their father achieved in the Tag Team Division. And while they pay homage to their lineage, they've also made it clear they're doing things in their own way. There's no questioning that with their uniquely wild aerial offense and their hard-hitting strikes, Jimmy and Jay have certainly cemented a legacy of their own. And standing across the ring are the Street Profits. Say it with me, Corey. We want the smoke. I will do no such thing, Saxton, though I will say that the Street Profits are a hell of a tall task. Speed from Ford, power from Dawkins. These guys just possess the it factor. Ooh, right to the face. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Corey, do you think it's better to try and escape the cage or focus on beating down the competition? Well, the two go hand in hand, Cole. You can't make it out of the cage without softening up your opposition first. So it's all about balance between those two strategies. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Nick Breaker! And for main event, Jey Uso, this is as much about a mental advantage as a physical one. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. Oh, it's not safe being up there. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. Looks like he's having trouble getting that other leg over. Ah, oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, and crashing along. Oh no, he comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. That's a tough break at this point in the match. Some miscues from Jey Uso here. Standing shooting star press, incredible. It's incredible. Abdominal 
stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear it on your opponent. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Head scissor takedown. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, no. Ow! Trying to make their way out of the cage. This is not going to end well. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. And he hits the mat with a thud. Got to be more aware of your opponent. Blockbuster! He's channeling the crowd's energy. Heading up and maybe heading out. And now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. He caught him. Supreme confidence here from Jimmy Uso, but he is giving his opponent a lot of time here. Oh, face oh, that steel. Fortitude being tested with every step. Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Supreme confidence here from Jimmy Uso, but he is giving his opponent a lot of time here. Oh, able to counter. Jimmy Uso is feeling it. He is getting that energy level back up in search of some footing to make this huge climb. A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Oh. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. thrown from the cage down to the mat. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Rock bottom! A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. He deflects it right back. He wants even more out of his opponent. Got him where he wants. Suplex! Uh-oh. A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Boom, what impact. Stop in the leg. Jimmy Uso is feeling it. He is getting that energy level back up. Puts a stop to that. Suplex. Oh. Here it comes. Nicely done. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. They're slamming their face down. And here he is, scaling up the cage wall. Making the big climb towards victory. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And Ford is still managing to dish out more damage. You have to be impressed with Montez, given what he's been through thus far. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. And Jay has been taking hits after hits in this one. Yeah, Jay might need to find space to regroup. Uh-oh. Drops the elbow. He's making haste, climbing up the cage wall. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Trying to escape the cage! Lower bomb. Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Supreme confidence here from Jimmy Uso, but he is giving his opponent a lot of time here.
straight punch. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. Oh, yeah. Dawkins feeling himself now. Will Jay end this? This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. Abruptly stopped at the top of the cage. This is not good. One leg over. Can this superstar finish the climb? I don't think so. This fight continues. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. Uh-oh, face first. The sprint up the cage is on. And a hellacious fall from the cage. Oh, that could not have felt good. There he is at the top of the cage. Still with a long way to go. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. He just has to swing that leg over. Psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. At the top, but he still has a way to go to end this. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. Famous phrase. Oh my god. Yeah, if that wasn't extreme. I don't know what is. All he has to do is drop down to the floor and his hand will be raised. Oh man. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. He's reached the pinnacle of his climb here. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. This is the moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. No, no, no. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. And there's the survivor of this steel cage match. Here are your winners. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Broken, beaten, and scarred. But there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage. That was a great example. Here comes the next big thing. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. What a rookie year for this young man, Brock Lesnar. No, you're not kidding. King of the ring, multiple WWE titles, and he main evented WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has been on a rampage thus far in his career. He's already unseated main eventers and destroyed legends. Yeah, indeed, his career has grown exponentially in just a matter of months.
He's called the next big thing, but he might be the biggest thing already. Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. This is a rivalry of truly mythic proportions. The Beast versus the Almighty. Lesnar and Lashley have never been able to stand each other, and their matches have always been incredible displays of raw power. Physically, they're well matched, but philosophically, they couldn't be more different. Lesnar is all about no limits, being as animalistic as possible, while Bobby prides himself on his discipline, his control. And with these two modern-day juggernauts going at it, expect things to get ugly in a hurry. There it is. Incoming. Crash landing. Powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. All the momentum's against Lashley now. Bobby's arsenal is being taken away. Kick. Race lock applied. Squeezing all the breath out of their opponent. Powerless position to be in right now. Power bomb all the way to the outside. Getting tossed out of the ring like that can do some long-term damage. I hope they're okay. He saw it coming, taking advantage. My God. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. And some effective offense with that one. And now thrown back into the ring. The Almighty firing up. He needs to fight his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Oh! Lands the knee. That didn't go Lashley's way. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And what a maneuver we just saw there. In my opinion, all Bobby Lashley has to do to get this match won is keep the attacks coming. He just has to use those powerful blows of his to grind down the opposition until they have nothing left. That does sound like a good use for all of Lashley's otherworldly strengths in this match. And, that and will this be it? And he is saved by the ropes. Rock. Uh oh. And Lashley saw what was coming. What a counter. 
Back suplex, no! Driven down! He could pin his opponent right here! And the referee stops the count before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Ah, yeah. oh, right into the shoulder, that's gotta hurt. He heads outside, count out's legal in this match. Delivering the suplex. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Re-entering the ring now. Lastly, looking more than ready for a real... Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Oh, what a power slam. Lashley is unable to stop any attack. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. Five. Brock could be seconds away. And the ref stops the count. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? I think we know what's coming next. Look out! Diving clothesline! Things are looking dire for Lashley. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. The beast is taking charge. Lesnar is calling the shots now. This is it! She wrote. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. The Beast Brock Lesnar celebrating the big win over Bobby Lashley, proving for the moment that the Almighty is no match for him. A very physical and violent match, but that's no surprise coming from these two. They pushed each other to their limits. I know Lashley isn't pleased with this outcome, but there's just no denying Lesnar. Byron, stop grabbing my leg. Oh, I'm sorry. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the bottomless pits. Weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman. Oh, the Boogeyman might make the opposition eat some worms tonight. Or eat them himself. Well, either way, it's a bad night to be a worm. A very erratic and eccentric superstar. I've always wondered, guys, do you really think those worms taste good? Why don't you go ahead and sample them, Saxton? You let us know. Uh, I'm good. Boogie, he's over here. Oh, look, no, turn around, Boogie. No, quiet, Corey, quiet. Did you hear that, guys? Stand back! Here it comes! And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! Not to be taken lightly. Better be careful, Saxton. You might be mistaken for a supervillain. They could call you Chrome Dome. What's up with that? Does this guy really think he's a superhero? Of course he does, Michael, but more importantly, the WWE Universe believes in him. And so do I.
And a guy... I stand back because the hurricane is coming through in this one. One of my all-time favorite superstars. The hurricane has the kind of can-do attitude and belief in himself that has led him to some pretty remarkable victories. Some would call that attitude more delusion than anything, but tomato, tomato. I was going to say, belief can only get you so far. Nevertheless, tonight we'll see if a man can fly. Well, I hope he isn't afraid of worms, because he's got to deal with the freaking Boogeyman. Yeah, and if you think his entrance is unsettling, wait till you see him in the ring. Boogeyman is as athletic as he is terrifying. And cover! Power right out at one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Shining Wizard! That's right, Corey! That was a Shining Wizard! Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Right to the face! He thinks he has it! And he breaks the count quickly. He's still in this. So what is the best strategy to defeat the Boogeyman? I know Saxon's plan at ringside is to lay there like a slug. It's his only defense, but if you're in the ring with Boogeyman, I'd say don't get caught up in the smoke and mirrors. Control your nerves and take the fight to him. Like any bad dream, he'll go away. The winds are shifting in the Hurricane's direction. This could be a chance for Hurricane to get some distance and rethink things. Oh, what a strike to the back. Oh, what a clothesline. From the top. Elbow drop. He's getting a little batter now. Into the pin attempt. Two. And he kicks out a hair before three. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, driven face first into the apron. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh, no. counter. Nice arm drag. Weather warning in effect. The WWE Universe in the presence of an impending hurricane. And this match will head back to the ring. 110th Street Slam. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Saving us from having to sit through that. What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. Strong form. Oh, strong impact. Oh, my lord. Straight right. Good night. Is it enough here? A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Eye of the Hurricane! And that's a hurricrazy maneuver right there. Oh, I always thought this guy was delusional, but he just might pull this off. Boogie Man retaliates. Uh-oh! With the Boogie Bomb! The Hurricane's chances are fading. Two count! Finally ends it, and all the bloodshed, perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, the Boogeyman. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.
The Viper has arrived. The following is a fatal five-way Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Randy Orton. The Viper's resume is just growing by the day, capturing titles and main events at an incredible rate. He's held the Intercontinental title, the tag team titles, and he's held the WWE Championship on multiple occasions. Formerly a legend killer, he is quickly approaching legend status as we speak. Methodical, dangerous, Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. You guys ready? The Heartbreak Kid! And from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! I don't believe there's been a greater performer in the history of WWE than this man, the Heartbreak Kid, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels! Without question, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, has paved the way for countless superstars here in WWE. It may be popular nowadays, but no one has used the super kick quite as well as HBK. And none have ever done it better. Uh, here comes the gold medalist. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. Gold medalist and a multiple time WWE champion. It takes a lot of ruthless aggression to even survive against Kurt Angle. And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, CM Punk. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back. And ready to stake his claim atop WWE. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Multiple tag team and Intercontinental Championship reigns during his first run here in WWE. But now that the prodigal son has returned, Cody Rhodes has reached main event status. A man who began his WWE career with a legacy to uphold, but soon became a star who left them all in the dust. Yeah, I think we can all agree his time away has turned him into one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. This is the type of match where anything can happen right away. Corey, what can we expect? Well, you're going to see a lot of chaos. It's all about who can control the chaos the best. There are no limits, and every resource is at a superstar's disposal. Double flapjack. Bang, drop kick. Single leg drop kick caught him. He's taking this to the floor now. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Oh, what a slap! Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Oh. Massive atomic drop. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, man. Obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. Hold on. Everything is legal in an Extreme Rules match. What does a superstar have to do to adapt to a situation like this? Exactly what you said, Cole. And he may get the three count right here. I think so. Quick count out after one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, leg sweep. Nicely done. Ooh. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. Hoping to end it here. He's able to beat a two count. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. As a leg trap, fisherman suplex. Oh, God. Look at this. And set right into the corner. He skirts around it. Big knee to the midsection. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. <laughs> Turn out the lights. He can end it here. He's got him. Still only got one. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Close line. Off with their head. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Heading back to the ring. Bunch to the next. Classic Orton. It could be over here! This is it! A defiant kick out after one. 
Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Hammer right to the gut. Evading offense. This is right for And he's able to reverse. Oh, sit out slam. Planning on what to do next. Ooh, here he goes for the win. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Russian leg sweep. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. And Angle now challenging his opponent to show him the three eyes. Rose looking to end this. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Will that keep Michaels grounded? Angle. With a hold of the ankle. The ankle lock is in. And he breaks the hold. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. The wherewithal to counter HBK. Bruising attack to the stomach. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Cody Rhodes laying down the gauntlet to his opponent. Michaels turns that around. Continuing to attack the neck. He'll head to the ring. Across the top rope. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Got him up. And there was some force on that. Cover here. It only gets a one count. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Angle escapes the attack. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. And just check out the face of Angle after that. And we just saw some serious offense. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, the physical price of the Extreme Rules stipulation is really starting to show now. Kyle Driver spiked him. Orton not intimidated. Not even close. If anything, he's the one doing the intimidating right now, Michael. Just taunting him with the chair now. Aiming to injure it for sure. And an impactful this I risk, and he barely evades. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, and he got the shoulder up. How is he still in this match? By the skin of his teeth. And that was an effective attack. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And he only stays down for a one count. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Turned that one around. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Take him out at the knee. Real European uppercut. Bulldog. And this has got to be it. And a kick out at only one. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Saw it coming. Looking for something, anything under the ring. A table. The W. Does he have him here? He gets the kick out after the one. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Look at this. Just unloading. Also looks like Sean's busted open now. Quick return to the ring. Hot right in the stomach creates the separate. Tossed into the corner. From out of nowhere. Gotta wonder if that keeps him down or fires him. Oh, it's not gonna be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Gonna take an Olympic effort to recover. Broken up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. Boom. Rose gets out of dodge. Suplex. And, and the cover for the win! And he breaks up the pinfall. Oh, a fly! He thinks he has it! Kicks out. He still has life. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Boom! Oh, 
kick to the face for your troubles. Boom, right to the throat. Into the ring again. Neck breaker excellently executed. This could do it! The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Oh, kick right to the back. Viper has him hooked. Exploder suplex from Orton. And the Viper attacking at a critical moment there. And the fact that Randy has this much left in the tank here is impressive. Face first. Big flying forearm. He may get the three count right here. This is it. No, two count. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Ooh. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. Jeez, that could take you out. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Shoots a half. Bulldog. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh. Angle with a spectacular single leg into the ankle lock. Every six. And he breaks the submission. He must have seen that coming. And that was a precisely measured attack. And a direct assault has Cody breathing heavy in the late going. And Cody might need to find space to regroup. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. I can see up to the rafters and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. HBK showcasing that famous merchandise for the crowd a little bit. And a Oof. stop to the gut too. Coming back in the ring. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Oh, right in there. Randy Orton just daring his opponent to take their best shot. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Denying the attack from Michaels. Getting him into the corner. Single leg drop kick caught him. Tagged with a punch. Delivering the vertebraker. breaker. Oh, it's not gonna be pretty. Shoulders down. And he breaks up the pin and the match continues. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Ooh. The American Nightmare. Crossroads. I don't care who you are. You can't survive any more of those. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Slight chant music going nowhere. Michaels with the exclamation point. This could be it. Cover for the win. Shoulders up before two. Thought he had you got to be kidding me. All the way up. And the big time power bomb. The showstopper looking as motivated as ever. And that was a well executed attack. And that was a precisely measured attack. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Oh, clobbered by sky high. Diving clothesline. Did you see the height? Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. Broken up. And the match continues. Counters that. Oh, my God. Into the ring now. Oh, and a back. Fernando picks the leg, looking to end this here. The ankle lock is in. HB, he breaks the hold. Oh, goes down face first from the gourd buster. Side rush and leg sweep. Five games in full effect from the apex predator. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. 
Angle letting his opponent know exactly what he thinks of him here. Into the lariat. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Uh-oh. Way too much. Oh, oh, diving moonsault. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Will it be? He kicks out at two. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. You will never see that coming. Climbs back inside. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Hoist it up. Whipped over in a snap. Here he goes for the win. Impressive win for this superstar, that's for sure. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. Here comes one of the most powerful brawlers in WWE history. This is going to be good. The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring from Warner Robins, Georgia. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Farouk! Multiple tag title reigns alongside Bradshaw and a former WCW champion. Uh, let's not forget, he's also a WWE Hall of Famer. Damn. No one commands an audience quite like Rowdy Roddy and Piper. From Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, I never get tired of the glorious sound of those bagpipes. They're not that glorious to me. I'll oh, show a little respect, Saxton. Now, he's a very intimidating opponent. Piper possesses legendary toughness and a legendary mean streak. The time for talking is over. Here comes Havoc. The Hot Rod is ready for a fight. Nope. Pinfalls tonight, Corey. Just one superstar trying to impose their will on another, forcing them to submit. That's right, Cole. And in a submission match, you have to exploit any weakness your opponent has. Sore ankle, break that thing. Sore ribs, throw your opponent against the barricade. All's fair in love and war. That's a great strategy, Corey. But what if your opponent doesn't have a weakness you can exploit? Well, if they don't have a weakness, you give them one. Pretty simple. One thing we know for certain, somebody's going to have to concede this thing. Boom! Nice! Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Down to opponent oh. and a double axe handle smash. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. 
great reversal. Left hook. Ooh. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Simple but effective side headlock takeover. Really wrenching it. Ring awareness is often overlooked in a submission match. Sure, there's no rope breaks, but they're still handy for making escapes or adding extra torque to an attack. That's great advice, Corey. Smart positioning could be what decides the match. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Off the ropes. Piper making it clear he holds all the cards in this one. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Good timing with that reversal. Connecting on the DDT. Down with a face buster. Whoa, and now Farouk is showing the effects of this match on his face. And a slap, too. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Watch out. Running Bulldog. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now would be a wise time to submit. And breaks out of the sleeper. Your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. This is what you call high risk, high reward. From the top. Good Lord, taking flight. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Big knee buys him some time. Down with force. Oh, did you hear that? Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Gets inside the ring. Farouk with a damn clear message to his opponent right here. Right across the back of the neck. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And as this match drags on, all that damage is only going to make it harder to fight out of a submission hole. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Wow, that is some impressive strength. Dominator. Farouk has him on Dream Street. The colossal clutch. Uh-oh, looking to lock it in. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career longevity, self-preservation. Tap out and fight again. Slipped right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. The sleeper is cinched in, and you can see little by little the opponent is fading. He's got a lot of and gets the submission match win. Here is your winner, Rowdy Roddy Piper. 
They went the extra mile in this win. I agree. What a win. No doubt about it. Support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe. Here comes the hitman. Oh, yeah, the excellence of execution. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Brett the Hitman. The man who mastered the sharpshooter, one of, if not the best technician ever, the Hitman. There's always one guarantee when it comes to Bret Hart. He will leave it all out in the ring. He is simply phenomenal. <laughs> you said it, Michael. A phenomenal resume, phenomenal skills, and without a doubt, a phenomenal performance. First, from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's gonna turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE Champion, Triple H. It's all about the game and how you play it, and nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the Cerebral Assassin. An unbelievable talent in the ring. The sadistic son-in-law of the chairman of WWE. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous.
The living Lucha Libre legend is here. A man who has done it all in WWE. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio! Hey, you blink and you might just miss Ray Mysterio. Moves like a jet doing Mach 10. He is incredible to watch. A lot of animosity in the air between these four competitors. Everyone is an equal target in this fatal four-way with Bret Hart, AJ Styles, Triple H, and Rey Mysterio. And there is the potential for some unlikely alliances in a fatal four-way like this. But at the end of the day, it is every competitor for themselves, and there will be only one winner. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Styles telling the audience now to watch him. Watch AJ get things phenomenally done. And well-timed maneuver there. Beautiful chop block. Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. And you have to think at this point that we might see some temporary alliances start to form. The operative word is temporary, Cole. Everyone in a fatal four-way is in it for themselves, so it's important to keep your eye on the ball and not get too sentimental about it. Draped over the top rope. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Lots of potential for injury here at Rings. That should do it right there. He got the shoulder up in time. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. German suplex. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He's absorbed some damage already. Placing them into the corner. Got them right in the corner. Forearm smash. out just before two. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He's, and there's the cover. Then he kicks out of the pen and one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Voice up their opponent looking for the burning hammer. Setting up for something here. And Rey Mysterio connected nicely right there. Oh, God. Face first. <laughs> up and the slash hammer. How do you recover from that? Brett was waiting for it. Oh, what a clubbing blow. This match grinded him down a little. A flat out power into the scoop slam. Vicious right forearm. Big slam. Will it be? Kick it out before the count. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Caught with a punch. He went right into that turnbuckle. The Hitman looking to really get this one going now. Back in the ring now. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. All night long. Triple H looking to end this match. Uh oh. Triple H well scouted. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. He was elusive there. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Brain Buster. Setting them up. This is going to be nasty. The burning hammer. He's struggling a bit here. 
This could be the beginning of the end. Uh-oh. Sharp to reply. And he got in there. I thought that was it. And look at for a back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Brett hoping to goad his opponent into a costly mistake. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Pile driver. Ooh. Kendo stick to the skull. Oh, we are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Oh. Styles not backing down one bit. Looks like he does want some. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. He's got the slugger in hand and is ready to go to work. Red Hart looking to end things. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Brett's got the sharp. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up. Got him, and he wins the fatal four-way. Here is your winner, Brett the Hitman Hart. Take a look at the winner of this fatal four-way match, ladies and gentlemen. All four of these men were prepared for a hard-fought match, and that is exactly what they delivered. Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title and has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. <laughs> the people's champion is here, an icon like no other. We can say with no hyperbole, he is the biggest star on earth right now. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock! Oh, he's the biggest star in the world, not just in sports entertainment, but in all of entertainment. You can feel the electricity surging through the building right now. Everyone with chills up and down their spine. We're about to see The Rock lay the smack down. All the catchphrases aside, The Rock is all business tonight. <laughs> the Rock holding court inside the people's ring. Every time he steps into a ring, the rock...
brings with him a legendary lineage. But just like his grandfather, father, uncles, and cousins, he's made a name for himself in this business. The Rock talks a lot about mana, which means spirit. When you watch him compete, you can practically see the fighting spirit of his family flowing through him, driving him to achieve amazing things. I'm sure The Rock is hoping to achieve more amazing things here tonight. And then you have a superstar like Solo Sokoa, who thrives on being a menace to the competition. No remorse, no regret. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up and one. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Shot to the back of the neck. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Oh, jeez. Oh. Take all the wind out of you. Natural athletic ability shown by The Rock. Showing exactly why he's the great one. If you're a bruiser like Solo Sokoa, the path to victory seems pretty clear to me. You just have to focus on doing what you do best, and that's beating people up. The more ruthless your attacks, the better. Pretty straightforward advice, Corey. That's been a recipe for success for Solo in the past, so I imagine it will serve him well here. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, bang! Face first! And the punishing streak of Sokoa just got a bit halted. Oh, right to the kidneys! Golly. He continues to press forward. This is what he feeds off of. I wonder if he can smell what The Rock is cooking. Had that move from The Rock scouted. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? Straight impact on the throat. And he tosses him back in now. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Cover, shoulders are down. Only a one count before the kick out. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Oh, nice deep arm drag. He's got him down. Is this it? Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? I think this match still has a ways to go. Oh, man. Landing awkwardly. To the knee. Bam! Down he goes. This match's brutality starting to show on him. The Rock just lighting him up with that electric offense. Launching. Splash! Momentum completely in the corner of The Rock. The Rock's opponent needs to know his role. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. He takes control. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. They've got their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. Arm trapped. One after the other. It's gotta be agonizing for the arm. Oh, God! There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. The Rock hoping to head this attack off at the pass. Solo just doing what he does best. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Stopping the ref's count at two. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Gotta be it. There's two. Almost ended it there. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Great flurry of offense from Solo. And The Rock is being dominated here. Turning the tables there.
picks up the win. Here is your winner, The Rock! That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. The Rock showed he can still electrify the WWE Universe. Byron, what's your name?